history of Indian IT industry. This is the time, the 2020 and 22. This is the time when highest number of engineers are in the age group of 35 to 40. But roughly looking at the eyes, you will be able to figure out the median age is around 30 to 32. Okay. So after becoming 40 years, it is really getting difficult for a lot of people to continue the IT industry. So you really don't have to work after 40 years. Think in that direction also. Okay. Why I'm saying this is, let's say you start a career of, at, at the age of 20 or 22. By that time, whenever you're reaching 40, you are already 18 years old. So oh, you're already spent almost 18 years. And for the, this 18 years of your career, you might have started studying at the age of 7, at least till the age of 20, which is 13 years. So 18 plus 13, which is around 30, 35 years of age. Hello all, welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself, Asant, I hope you're all doing well. In case if you're seeing me first time on the internet, I'm a content creator. I help people to clear their interview. I specifically make series on the interview preparation. I made a lot of series in the past which has helped a lot of candidates to clear their interview. Link to the series will be somewhere on the screen, also in the description section. In case if you're not already watched them, I would highly advise please go ahead and check them out. Okay. Now without wasting further time, let's get started with the topic of the today. So will career in IT industry will end at the age of 40 years? Simple answer to that is no. But there are a lot of aspects involved internally for this particular question. Like uh, why the question is becoming very relevant now and uh, what are the government policies say and how we can be relevant even after the age of 40 years and why there are a lot of problems after the age of 40 which was not faced in the past. Okay, All of those things I'm going to explain step by step in this particular video series, uh, this particular video. So in case if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon because a lot more such interesting videos will be coming up in my channel and there are already a lot of good content in the channel so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon now see i did one simple survey on uh, also i can call poll in my youtube channel as you know i have close enough 3.5k for subscribers on my youtube channel so when i made a survey so there were 127 people voted for this particular survey where the question that i asked was what do you think career in it industry will become difficult after 40 uh, what do you think career in it industry will become difficult after 40 years so almost 62 percent people said yes 19 people said no 19 people said, I don't know. I, as you know, I also have a telegram group for um, front-end developers. So it's again with the name of Uncommon Geeks. So if in case if you're not joined my telegram, please join. And if in case if you're not subscribed to Uncommon Geeks YouTube channel, please subscribe because you can be part of sub polls like this. And your, your, whatever the input that you are given will be used in my further videos. Okay. Now, uh, so even in my telegram group, whenever I asked this question, close to 60% said they said um, the career in IT industry will become difficult after the age of 40 years. Okay. So including me, a lot of people think, at least more than half of the people in the market currently thinks the career in IT industry becomes difficult after the age of 40 years. Let's start by understanding this whole process step by step. Okay. Very first thing, what does government say? So official age of retirement in India is in especially in private sector varies between 58 to 65 years of age why it is not fixed why it's a variable because in private sector uh, actually these judgments are given by different state governments in a different way central has one rule and state has a different rule and the liberty is there for both the governments to make rules so there are different states which have a different kind of a retirement age varies between 58 to 65 okay now let's get into another important question how what is the retirement age of popular it industries it companies in india so few companies Companies like Infos, uh, not Infosys, the Cognizant, TCS, and Vipro have a retirement age of 55. Infosys has the retirement age of 60, and some companies may be having a retirement age of 65 also. So, when is the right age to retire in private sector? It's like when is the right age for doctor to retire? So, doctor can retire when he thinks he's not uh, not capable of doing an operation or not able to judge what the problem that patient is having. Just as simple as that. Same applies for the engineer. The right age for engineer to retire is when he is no longer being adequate or capable capable enough to do his work. So there is nothing called a hard and fast rule in the IT industry to get a retirement or company ask you to leave. Okay. Now, at least the government has never said the retirement age in IT industry is 40 years. It's only the people who are getting a little worried and thinking there's a lot of problems after 40 years in IT industry. Okay. Now let's get into the second problem. Why the question is becoming very relevant now? Like the 40 years after the 40 years, they're facing difficulty. Why this is very, very relevant now compared to the 10 years back or a decade back? Let's get to some stats. Okay. So this is a stat that I've downloaded on web. The link to this will be there in the description section. Okay. This basically gives the number of engineering graduates which are passed out in the over the span of uh, uh, 1990s after the independence and also after the 2000s okay if you can see the first four decades after the independence that is from almost from uh, 19 uh, 1950 to 1990 
the number of people who graduated in the engineering were extremely low okay uh, because first of all there were not many colleges and even if there were engineering colleges they were quite expensive and there were not so many jobs for the engineer so number of people who graduated in the engineering till the 1990s is very very less it is only after 1990s the number of people who are starting graduating become very very the number increase because of the privatization which happened in the early 1990s okay so if you can see in the 2000 the number of engineers who passed out are were around 1 lakh so if you see in 2005 it was around 2 lakh in 2010 it hit around 4 and 1/2 lakh but some stats also say it was around 5 lakhs okay and in 2020 2021 or 2021 the number of people who are passing out every year is around 15 lakhs so from 2010 to 2020 in matter of 10 years the number of engineering graduates have been increased by 200 times okay whether it's relevant or not required or not i am not the right person to answer but this is just what the stats saying okay now in the history of indian it industry this is the time the 2020 and 22 this is the time when highest number of engineers are in the age group of 35 to 40 or 40 plus the reason for that is this graph the people who all the people who graduated in the 1990s to 2005 they are all in the age group of 35 to 40 currently and they are facing lot of crisis there could be 3 uh, to 4 lakh people who are facing this problem of not able to switch the job facing difficulty in uh, facing difficulty in updating their skills because of that they become very relevant irrelevant because of that now the question of 40 year retirement become very very in the uh, become a very very hot topic for the discussion okay now let's look at another interesting fact that is what is the median age of uh, associates in the it industry i have taken this graph this graph is almost 3 to 4 year old okay this particular stats again this is taken from business insider link with that in the description section so i haven't uh, uh, some i have added all the uh, ages and divided by the number of companies did not do the, uh, the typical average but roughly looking at the eyes you will be able to figure out the median age is around 30 to 32 okay so after becoming 40 years it is really getting difficult for a lot of people to continue in the it industry let us discuss the reasons why it has become really difficult as you already saw in the previous chart that i was showing the typical age in the it industry has become 30 to 32 it is definitely not 40 why the average age in it industry is not 40 okay let us get to get into a simple chart that i prepared recently so i intentionally draw this in the matter of in in the, in the form of pyramid okay so the first thing is the sd ones who typically enter into it industry then comes sd2 sd3 sd4 so convention vary across the company i'm keeping it this is the intention of most mnc's how they have the convention i'm keeping it the same way sd4 then manager director vp cto and ceo okay definitely there will be multiple hierarchies here manager senior manager director senior director vp senior vp cto and ceo okay some companies have one ceo some companies have multiple ceo some companies have one cto some companies have multiple ceos depending on the org that they are leading anyways so my my simple uh, analogy from this particular chart is as you can see so it, whenever you grow up in the ladder the number of openings will become lesser and lesser number of openings in sd1 could be so many percent so much percent higher than the number of openings for vp or director because sd1 sd2 and sd3 are these are the people who contribute a lot for the grassroots level of the development activities okay so and people after sd4 are more on the managerial thing it's not that their 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 role is not important their role is definitely important but we don't company do not need so many directors and vps but company need lot of sd1 and sd2 to do the grassroots level job okay so whenever you grow up in the ladder definitely the number of openings becomes lesser and lesser that is why the people in 40 year age currently facing lot of difficulty in getting the job now it's kind of one of the very very important aspect like right now i am not in my, my 40s but what is my plan to be relevant after the age of 40 years okay uh, the two things that i think is very very relevant for everyone every very very important for everyone to follow so that you become relevant after the age of 40 years first thing upskilling as you all know whenever you started your career there could have been some language that was popular for example in 2000 c pascal the languages like that were popular but whenever you come to 2020 python java c sharp and other languages are popular 2040 there could be lot more other languages frameworks ai so be relevant so don't uh, stop upskilling yourself whenever you stop upskilling yourself you are easily replaceable okay so keep upskilling so whenever new technology come learn the technologies if not to the level of hd1 but have a level of understanding which is right and which is wrong, not right so because of that you become relevant in the organization first thing second thing same again extends to the upskilling skilling is um when 
look at the different people in the higher higher hierarchy in your organization like your vps your directors your cto ceos they all definitely will be coming from some or the other premium institutes definitely for a startup it doesn't matter but lot of mncs where the cto ceos vps will be coming from the premium colleges stanford iim iit cambridge lot of their premium institutions from where they might have been graduated okay so whenever organization decide to give a higher salary for example people with 40 plus years of age will be easily getting 5 crore 6 crore 4 crore in in terms of crores only whenever an organization decides to give you salary in terms of crore and there are two people one one particular person who is having the same experience and from a uh, graduated from a normal college same experience another graduate is from a uh, iim stanford cambridge when organization decides to give a higher pay why they will pick this f- person from the normal college they'll definitely give a more priority to the person from a premium college this is what the problem happens okay so try to get some online degrees if you want to stay relevant after the age of 40 years so there are a lot of all the premium institutes for that matter now giving some online degrees like iims iits iisc stanford cambridge all the premium institutions are giving now the degrees from the via online so enroll for certain courses it may cost you a few lakhs but if you want to stay relevant after the age of 40 years tag of this premium companies in your resume will matter a lot so uh, my particular strategy would be i haven't decided whether to continue in the managerial role or the architect role whichever the role i choose i love skill and i'll try to get certain degrees from the online online sources by attending the remote classes to be stay relevant after the age of 40 if i decide to continue career after the age of 40 years okay now let's get into one other very very uh, interesting aspect of this particular topic but before i say that in case you are newly new you in case you are not already subscribed to my youtube channel i would please request subscribe to my channel there are very very important videos that i'll be uploading almost every week okay it will certainly help you to clear your interviews now another important analogy that i wanted to give all my audience most of my audience are junior and the mid level juniors so you really don't have to work after 40 years think in that direction also okay why i'm saying this is let's say you start a career of at, at the age of 20 or 22 by the time whenever you reaching 40 you are already 18 years old so you are already spent almost 18 years and for the this 18 years of your career you might have started studying at the age of 7 at least till the age of 20 which is 13 years so 18 plus 13 which is around 30 35 years of age correct so 30 to 35 years of age or sometimes even 40 years of your entire life is spent for this career already considering the average life expectancy of 70 to 80 years i'm just stick to 70 80 is becoming lesser nowadays Le- considering it is of for 70 years you already spent more than half of your life just for this career okay you really want to spend next 30 years of your life or next 25 to 30 years of life again for the same career or you would like to do something that is really interesting for you if you are someone who's interested only in the software industry or it industry and want to do lot of innovations please continue if you are someone who has certain some other interest traveling the world making some logs doing farming or living all these things and just staying somewhere with a, a enormous money that you have saved so there could be lot of thing that you want to do with your life and you can really plan doing that after the age of 40 you don't have to do it uh, you don't have to work till the end of your life hard work is life is not meant for hard working life is meant for happiness life is meant for living so if you think after the age of 40 you really don't have to work save an enormous amount of money that you think can su- sufficient for next 30 to 40 years i'm going to make another video on that topic link to that i'll paste on the screen as a description section if i record it by the by the time i upload this video so where you can st- by that by saying that much amount of corpus you can take a retirement of 40 even if companies are not asking and you can lead a happy life okay but i'll be very happy to know what is your view point on this entire retirement thing should the people be retired at the age of 40 or uh, what is your strategy to safeguard your 40 year retirement problem if you're already in 40 how you are solving this problem please mention all of that in the comment section and thank you i'll catch you in the next video in case if you are not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon and i please follow me on linkedin i'll write very actively on the linkedin and in case you are not a part of my telegram group please join my telegram group that's the quickest way to uh, talk to me and uh, I I read lot of articles on Medium every week I read one article on Medium related to front end and the interview preparation so follow me on Medium also to stay relevant with my newsletters okay thank you so much for watching catch you in next video